We are right outside the unit. I wanted to drive in a little late just so I could see all this. Look at y'all. It's still like a mile or two down to my unit, but that's a really good sign. Well, I haven't seen a whole ton more sign yet, but did come across this four pointer. That's pretty cool. I just had a bull bugle down canyon. Let's see if I can get him to respond again. Sneak down towards the bottom a little bit more. Sound like he was a little bit on the other side. Well, that first pull, I'm not sure if that one video had any, I, well, I'll pull it up on the computer, but hopefully you can see it a little bit. But then you could tell he saw something, but he wasn't really spooked. And that whole process was probably like an hour. It was 5.30 the first time I heard him. And he, he cut the distance in half and same as me. So we met up and I suspected him to be a little farther out. So I was just about ready to call. And then he made that bark. But anyways, I chased, well, we talked back and forth a while, but he ended up slowly moving away. So I went back to the camera and back back. I started putting away some things. <laughs> like 20 yards away, I heard something like take off. This spook. So I turned around, got my bow, and I'm moving. And I could tell one, at least 300 class ball. I couldn't tell what the other one was. And there was a branch right in my way, so I couldn't get a good range on it. And then the other one turned its head and it, it had to be like 330. So I guess 40 yards, I couldn't get a good range on it with that branch. And I shot right over him. <laughs> but I found my arrow. Absolutely, little dent at the end. But I, I tracked for blood. I didn't see, there was nothing, but anyhow, I was crazy for a first day. Getting within, well, getting within shooting range from three. The first one would have been a poke, but we'll see. Lesson learned. Well, already, day one, got some brats and then this ch cheesy chicken stuff. But, anyways, my dad's coming up. 
He should be here in probably about 10 minutes. I just put, called him and talked to him. But anyways, he's kind of setting up here for tonight. Probably move on later. Push that. Okay. You can see it recording. Oh. Uh -huh. And then, um. Alrighty, here we are. It looked like it was about a 32 yard shot. It didn't go through, but it was a pretty good hit. So anyways, we're gonna give it 30 minutes or so. I heard him on him and I think I heard him fall, so just give him a second.
He has a big body. <laughs> That's so awesome. Not huge. Five by... I guess that's technically... Five by four? Yeah. I barely but you'd be considered that. <laughs> that First so Archie kill. That's so awesome. <laughs> Didn't have to track far. No. That's probably about a pretty close to 100 though. That's going to be a nice young bull. Oh. Uh, I can feel the arrow right here. Was that where it about to come through or is that where it went in? No, that's where it about came through. Unless it's a... I think so. I nearly cleared right through him. That's so sweet. <laughs> Man. These are blessed. Yeah. Plenty of meat. Why don't you tell them where you spotted it up there? Yeah, it was like, it was 300 yards. He was, he was about over there. So we snuck down the halfway down it, the hill. And just started calling and he came in quiet. It was a 32 yard shot. So it worked out perfect. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Broadside mm. and everything. And that is so neat. Yeah. You can see it just nearly poked through the outside of the skin. Nearly clean pass. I put it up. Huh? Pull it out? Yeah, I think okay. he's watching for years. Broke yeah. off in there. That's a hair left. That's crazy. There might be another piece in there then. Yeah. Well, here we are. We're halfway done with it pretty much, besides the, the neck and head. But at least we got the two quarters on this side off and everything, so go flip it over and get the other side. Well, already. We got it all in the quarters. We're just gonna take the head out and the back strap and tenderloin so we can come back in with frame packs. Or we'll see how close we can get with on another road. So get on out of here. Well, here we are. That was a late pack out last night. But anyways, we drove back around and we found this road that's accessible through four wheeler. So my dad's going back and going to grab the four wheeler. I'm gonna, um, hike in and start commuting the the legs back and forth we already got the head down and the, the back straps and tenderloins so anyways it's like a little over half a mile commute back and forth so i'm gonna haul these legs until we can get to that road but that'd be that was way better than what i was thinking i was worried that we'd have to pack it out the other way it was about five miles so i'm really happy we're able to access it this other direction well, already we made it back to the trucks. Mom's all excited to process it. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, we're gonna load it all up and take it home. Alrighty, September 3rd, just finished packing out my bowl. Today, my dad brought it to the house. But anyways, brothers in a more southern unit than I am, we both have New, or have New Mexico tags this year. So anyways, I'm driving down to help them out. This is Saturday. We're gonna hunt tomorrow and Memorial Day on Monday and see what we can make it happen. He went out yesterday, he hasn't seen much yet. So we'll see, don't sound like they're talking or nothing. But anyhow, 
Hopefully we can make it happen. <laughs> oh man, you're pretty pumped to uh, kill that bull. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's pretty nice. Yeah. Oh man. You, but you haven't seen much at all? No, I haven't seen an elk yet. Uh, that was crazy. Oh, but the, tonight, <clears throat> so like this road, it's actually cooler tonight than it has been yeah. the last couple. It feels colder, but. This road like follows the mesa. I can show you a map and then it like goes to like a private fence line. And then I went off to the edge, I like cow call down a ways, the bottom, and then came back up. And when I was coming back up, I looked out in the valley and I was like, I took out my bugle and I bugled and I heard a bull right away. He answered me down in the valley. Oh on the private though but well it, i don't know it uh, sounded i couldn't tell if he was on the private or if he was on like public uh, well, here we are just driving into this spot where he, i thought he heard a bull yesterday so it was pretty windy last night and pretty cold but it kind of cleared off and calmed down through the night and it looks like a little bit of wind's picking back up to morning so we'll see
shoot. He's within 150 yards. see him again. Oh, I saw him but he took, he just, he took straight back off to where the other ones were. Really? Yeah, but we had decent wind. I was checking my wind because he was coming in so hot, I was like, I was like, right here, so I was like, I was, I was thinking about going forward, but I was like, well, if he swings this way, I can see him this way. If he swings out that way, I can see him that way. Yeah, now this is actually a good spot. I mean, he was just right on the other side of that hill. Did he, did he jump the fence? Mm -mm. But there's um, there's more bows than that herd. Really? I think there's four or five, and then I was just glassing a second ago, and there's ten in all. But they're just hanging out. There's a pond there. That's where they're all at right now. Yeah, so, that was a big bull. Yeah, it was. I was thinking through my binoculars, I was like, man, that thing's big. <laughs> Yeah. Man, when I first got down to here, if you would have came in, I would have missed almost because it was like, heart was racing. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> I wonder. It's hard to say what to do, really. I think they'll be right in that area this evening. Mm -hmm. But it's also like, as you can kind of see, where that you should be able to glass them from here, but I don't know. It's kind of late enough in the day, or well, not late enough, but it'd be hard for them. Draw them over. Yeah, or we can come back here this evening, maybe. Yeah. There's too far in that private right now. At least we didn't blow anything up. You no. know, it's not like we spooked them or anything. Yeah, no. And the good thing there is, the other bachelors. Even if we draw one of those other bachelors. Like, yeah, I think that pool, like, he knows, like, this, like, he, I bet he, he probably is, like, the lead bull. Yeah. And so he knows, like, this valley's his. Yeah. And I think, I was looking on the map, there's a pond back in that valley. It's, well, there's, I mean, they're at a pond right now also. Yeah. So they have, like, plenty of water, plenty yeah. of food, they're protected. But that fence line that runs along here, if we could get maybe this evening, set up somewhere. get on the other side and even like if well, you, this morning we thought we heard a big boy over there or no well last night when I was along that ridge it, it sounded like it was more this way yeah I mean it it could have been him but um, you want to work that direction then just cut that way and hunt those far hills we can and come back here this <coughs> evening make a play on him Yep. Oh, there's the big bull. You see him out there? Yeah. See him cool. center screen. Right above the tree. Man. So, like. But, anyways. So, the current plan is there's cows in between the bull and the fence line. So, give Zach. 20 minutes or whatever to get as close as you can to the fence and I'm, I'm about 600 yards we're 600 yards away from the fence right now but I'm just gonna start bugling here and working my way up towards him and see if we can't get that bull to come this way What happened? Cows. They spooked the elk? They spooked the elk? Yeah. Where are they at now? They left? They're going up the hill. So like On the far hill? Yeah, just straight there. So a lead bull go up and the smaller bulls were with him. Uh oh. 
I was trying to like go like slow in that one. I was like, wow. And then just like started going crazy and then running. And then like all the other cows followed. <laughs> and like, all, there was like even more as I got closer to the fence and they started busting out going crazy. Oh, well. oh, I was like, Man. Oh well. <sighs> The only spot where there's running water. You can see where it's all torn up. There's a big old wasp mess underneath there and barrel. Tore it all up. Well, here we are, back at the trucks. Got some of this chicken garlic stuff. I really do like these mills for this type of coming back from the truck. It's easy, it's better than Mountain House or any of that stuff. But anyways, we made this big old, we ended up going into a basin and there's five or six of these drainages where um, we was walking in and out and just calling, hoping there was a satellite bull or something. But anyways, never did see nothing, and then we got back to where we saw those bulls at, um, or that big bull at. We let out one bugle at the last light, and he responded, so the plan in the morning is to go down there before daylight, get as close as we can to that fence line, and I'll back out three or four hundred yards away from it, let out a bugle, and see if we can't get him to come in. But anyways, we'll see if we can make it work. They're sort of slowly making their way up to bed. Dead center screens where that bull's at. It's not interested this morning. Once we like started raking, that's when, well, I guess that's when we noticed them started going up the trees, but. Well, I think what happened before then, like, like I said, I wonder if like some of these like cows on some of these ranches and stuff that way, I mean, some cows could be like really old 
Yeah. And so they're just like, you might think just like, sometimes if they're like, tired of a situation, they're just like, all right, we're getting out of here. What's that? A beagle. Really? Unless he's up on the hill and all safe. <laughs> but uh, he ain't gonna come back down now. No. Like those cows, they're just like, this is, you know, they think something's off or whatever. Yeah. I think he was actually pushing his cows up. He was in the back of the herd. He was pushing? Yeah. Or the cows were taking him. No, I think he was ready to get out of there. Or just get up in the, up on the hill. But anyhow. I Like I said, I think it was a combination. I think that first day, well, like, I didn't really, I mean, I heard a bugle, but I didn't even know where he was at. Yeah. That first day. And so it was hard to even know, like, was he down there? I didn't, obviously he was here. Yeah. But I feel like that first day when he was, you know, pretty, he was getting pretty fired up. If we would have done that, I think he would have came over. Yeah. We would have done the same thing as we did yesterday, come all the way down here. Yeah. Jumped the fence. Fence. That's what they say, like, sometimes, like, you know, like, the first, like, the first time, like, well, it, as it comes and goes, probably, too, you know, yeah. they, they might get fired back up a few days later, and you might be able to do the same thing, you know? Yeah. He's not, like, a little cool. Yeah. And then, then he might try to rival him again, and he might come, but who knows? Yeah. I think that's what they say, like, too, like, some of us, like, Corey and... Well, here we are. We tried about half the morning bugling and everything, but he really wasn't that interested today. But anyways, we gotta get back. I'm going on a mule deer hunt. My brother has to go back to his job and everything, but it was a sweet experience down here, new unit for us. So it was just awesome to get down here and get a hunt together. So, yeah. And, yeah. A lot of beautiful country and lots of scenery. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching.